On the rocky coast of Ireland is a well-kept hidden secret. A seaweed which could change the way we conceive fertilizers. Seamus McGarvey managed the seaweed resources region for over 30 years for a state enterprise. He wants to show us the stunning potential of the Irish coast. When you come to the shore, the first thing you see is the, uh, the masses of seaweeds that are there. There are many different types. It's said there are over 500 species growing. You've got the greens, the reds and the browns. Now the one that I'm interested in and the one that I've spent all my life uh, being involved with is the brown. It's the Ascophyllum nodosum. Here, Ascophyllum is a precious resource. The farmers have understood the enormous value of the seaweed. For generations, they gathered it to feed the soil and their animals. Right, that's a typical Ascophyllum plant. Um, as you can see, it's a, this is near the, the root or the holdfast area where it's a dark green. And the light green or yellowish is the new growth. Um, it holds itself onto the rock by a holdfast. It feeds through the, gets the nutrient through the spores. and. Um, it has to be fairly resilient, this plant, because the tide leaves it two times a day and comes back two times a day. So it's out of the water for about half of its life. The way it is harvested hasn't changed. The harvester cuts the seaweed with a small sickle, taking care to leave the base. The base will ensure future harvests are possible. Then the seaweed is transported by boat and ready to be transformed. Declan Gallagher has managed OGT since 2004. Trade Corp acquired OGT in 2014. He supervises the transformation of the seaweed. So the challenge we face is taking a raw material like this and then developing a system which allowed us to retain all the nutrients that are found with this raw material and turn it into a high concentrate, high quality seaweed extract. To achieve this, the OGT and Trade Corp engineers developed a unique cold extraction technique called gentle extraction. The fresh seaweed is sorted by hand and only the high quality seaweed is kept. Then they are washed to eliminate all the residues. The seaweed then enters a unique cold extraction process without the addition of chemicals. This process preserves the nutrients, vitamins and antioxidants naturally present in Ascophyllum. The result? A natural seaweed juice called filgreen. We are in Belgium at the University of Liège Jean Bleu. Frank Hennecart is a seaweed specialist from Trade Corp. He wants to discuss with Patrick Dujardin, professor of plant biology, about the uniqueness of Ascophyllum. On s'aperçoit que le rôle de ces algues et de ces extraits d'algues va au-delà de la fonction d'engrais, que les algues sont capables de moduler, de réguler l'expression des gènes des, des, des plantes cultivées, euh, va les aider à mieux se développer, à mieux se protéger aussi contre les stress de l'environnement. Donc les extraits d'algues sont au-delà d'être des engrais, ce sont des biostimulants. The chemists at Trade Corp are particularly interested in this biostimulant function. With Professor Dujardin, they try to determine the unique biostimulant modes of action on plant development. Les biostimulants, ce sont des substances ou des micro-organismes. On va étendre la définition donc à ces micro-organismes qui sont appliqués aux végétaux cultivés pour favoriser leur croissance, leur développement et en agissant à trois niveaux. Le premier, c'est l'efficience de la nutrition. La plante est plus efficace pour acquérir les nutriments de son environnement, pour les assimiler. Le deuxième niveau, c'est la tolérance aux stress environnementaux, les stress abiotiques hein, qui sont le froid, la salinité, la, la sécheresse et le troisième niveau c'est la qualité des produits végétaux récoltés. Les extraits d'algues donc sont finalement des biostimulants bien connus depuis longtemps, ils ont été les premiers, parmi les premiers à avoir été identifiés comme tels et aujourd'hui ce sont des biostimulants pour lesquels les effets sont particulièrement bien documentés. Several trials on pears and oranges have given production increases thanks to better flowering. Other results confirm that field green improves the quality of wine and vegetable production. Yield increases in cereals and grasslands have also been observed. Beaucoup de problèmes de production auxquels ils doivent faire face sont liés à des problèmes de stress abiotique. Et dans ce cadre-là, nous sommes dit mais pourquoi pas essayer d'optimiser la production de field green pour répondre au mieux à ces stress abiotiques. D'où l'idée de développer 
cette extraction à basse température qui va permettre de limiter le dommage aux éléments clés de l'algue qui vont permettre à la plante de mieux réagir à ces stress abiotiques. Et c'est vraiment tout là le concept de, de Phil Green. Using modern techniques inspired by traditional agriculture, this is the ambition of Tradecore, a project born on the Irish coasts which announces a new generation of crop nutrition.